All right, welcome back to another episode of The Tower. Um, okay, I said I was going to do this because uh, uh, I didn't really want to do another Tower video. Um, however, uh, since I'm already here, I feel like in a couple of days I'm going to uh, I'm gonna hear about it and I'm going to want to uh, challenge the, the Floor 40 on a 1 clear. So uh, I'm just going to try and do that now. Um, anyways, a couple of things about this floor. Uh, probably should just give her some agility. Anyways, a couple of things about this floor. Um, you'll notice that I'm not using Blossoms in the dark. Uh, it's because there's no human here, so Man Eater is not going to do anything here. Uh, I think it's probably better if I used, um, it doesn't really matter whether I use Mass of Deceit here or if I used uh, Vow of Love. Uh, so, for those of you that don't have, uh, you can always use Valve Love. I'll just use Valve Love. So, I'm going to see if I can beat this in one try. Uh, this is going to be hard because of the Lamia Queens. So, uh, got to think of some exploits that you can do here. Uh, anyways, one of the most important thing, thing blah, one of the most important things to do in the tower is your unit ordering. Uh, there's a reason why I put um, uh, I put Rosa in the middle. It's so that her prayer prayer can go off in the first turn. Here, Mont has threat, so all the skeletons are gonna go at go at Mont, and that's gonna leave me with a nice shape to actually hit them all with uh, Holy. And you notice that Mont's actually taking a decent chunk of damage. At any rate. I should be able to kill them all with one hit. Uh, these skeletons, if you do not have holy here, you're almost screwed. You're pretty much screwed completely. Uh, so it's absolutely crucial that you have holy here. And you notice that I do like no damage to these Lamia Queens. Uh, but at any rate, that's not what she's here for. She's here for this. I just want all my DPS to have uh, this confuse resist. Uh, it doesn't make, it doesn't really matter whether or not my, uh, offense, my, uh, tank has Confuse Resist. Uh, Likes Protection. Even though I underestimate Diablo, he does do a good chunk of damage, so it is, uh, wise to have this. And you notice that I already used my Bell's last, uh, last turn with Farika, so my guys actually don't have, uh, so I'm only using Bells for the agility for uh, Ildira. Not that Ildira ever needs it, but uh, not that Ildira ever needs the re revitalize ability, but it is good to have. Okay, so right up in the middle of a Sentinel. Oh, crap. Uh, Mont is better off if he has... Uh, it's better to use Mont if he has the... Um, if you give him the Dario Sword, I forgot to give him the Dario Sword, even though he's holding no weapons. Um, think about how I should hit him here. Do I have a heal right away? No, I don't want him to die. Uh, so I'm just going to kill these two here first, then. Eroga. And that's kind of the problem with these Lamia Queens. I don't have a good way of damaging them. Uh, they're susceptible to single target attack. Let's see how much damage a Holy would do on them. Almost nothing. So here Rosa is really my healer. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't run up. Oh well, doesn't matter. See if I can kill him with this. Thunder's Light is actually the best, uh, I think is actually the best move here against the uh, against these Lamia Queens. Especially because it doesn't do anything to Mont. Hopefully more of them come close so I can actually hit them with this. Oh, there's the Confuse. Uh, I didn't, oh my gosh. 
Oh man, these guys are way too slow. Okay, Leela's gonna go next. I don't have a good way of knocking him out of it. Which means I'm gonna take some serious damage. Uh doing this on Rosa isn't gonna isn't gonna help me. Here what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna try to push them above her. So that way I can um hit them. Oh my gosh. Nice damage distribution. Uh I forgot to use um that ability on her. I forgot to use the uh zombie on her, so I can't kill her. And she's surrounded by dead bodies. Perfect. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Uh, at any rate, I should be able to kill all of these guys. Mont is basically a lightning rod. Just gonna kill all these skeletons right out. Uh, well, I can't really knock you out of it, so the best I can do is just heal everybody. Uh, Rosa should kill the skeleton soon. Uh, Sakura might die here. Oh my gosh, this chain confuse is so annoying. Uh, I was gonna say this is one of uh, where Mont shines. If I had uh, the AP, so if I used um, if I ha had I used uh the Dario Sword, I would use I would use Taunting Blade and hit um, I would use Taunting Blade to hit Little Leela right now, but since I don't, I'm gonna Sentinel right here. Uh, this is the block uh. This is the block Diablo from joining the fray. So the thing with this map is there's a ledge right here. This platform right here where Martin is standing separates the bosses from the uh separates the bosses for, uh and the mobs from you. So if you're gonna play uh if you're gonna play uh this map, this is the boss stage. So on all boss stages, this is a this is an easy exploit. What you wanna do is stand right where that zombie where right where that uh skeleton died. In between the Lamia and uh, Mont, uh, and that will separate the boss from where you are. That way, you don't have to worry about them coming to kill you, uh, and you can easily deal with the uh, mobs by yourself. Uh, that being said, I think Rosa will one-shot Little Leela, so I can't really shoot her. So that's kind of annoying. And that's what happens when little Leela is the only one that didn't get the Confuse Immune. They spam it on her. Uh, worst case scenario, I sack her. Uh, I might have to just sack her and then just use... Uh... And then just use Sakura to kill him. It doesn't sound good sacking people. Which one is this one? That one's this one here. That one's this one there. So basically, it's the two that uh, it's the two that can run away. Uh, if I use it here, it's gonna shock the Odira. So I don't really want to use it there. My gosh. I feel like if I just use it there, they're just gonna run. Well, the thing here is that other Lamia Queen, the one next to Mont, she can't she can't really go anywhere that's not in this area, right? She should have to take this. Or she could just go for Mont. That works too. Uh, I was kinda hoping damage distribution would catch her there. Doesn't matter, now I just gotta kill these Lamia Queens. Uh and this is where you realize technically using pure prayer will not get rid of that. And I don't have Isuna.
Oh well, still good to use this so none of my other guys get confused. The other reason why I use this is if they hit her again, uh, it'll wake her up. Like right now. There we go. Uh, I can kind of just stand here and spam Sentinel all day. Uh, to keep them away. Thunder's Light is a good ability on them, but it's too slow. And again, so is Thunder. And normally I do not recommend stacking your guys like this. The only reason I can do it is because I have Rosa. So that should take care of him. Uh, the only way for them to get Mont off of that is if they confuse him. And I'm not letting that happen. Uh, and there we go. Gonna heal Mont here. Can't reach. Too bad. Uh, since I can't reach, Holy doesn't do anything to you. That's even worse. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess silencing arrow? Just shut these ladies up. And maybe they'll stop hitting me with their crap. Uh, Rosa is real. Uh, Rosa is really my tank healer here. Uh, let's see. This time, Thunder's Light will kill you. Uh, well, Mont has uh, Mont has what's that called? So he'll be fine. Uh, I was going to say Mont has Sentinel, but Mont has Immortal Spirit, so he'll be fine. So basically, keep zoning the, keep zoning the boss out with the tank. And then these guys will just hit, get hit with the thunder. Uh, this is slow and methodical, but hey, it works. Apparently, uh, now we know whether or not now we know whether or not uh, that actually works. The the okay, that should take care of this one. Now we know whether or not uh, silence will stop the bewitching tail, which it won't. Holy. Now we just gotta corner Diablo and spam him with Holy. Screw the heart like needles right here. That'll help me kill him. Because Rosa, I'm not running with any magic attack. So I kinda need that. And here you could just see how effective Mont is. Mont is actually one of the best tanks for the tower. Uh, not gonna lie, one of the best tanks in the tower. So I'm gonna hit him with Taunting Blade here, and I'm gonna move over to this side. This will open all my healers up to attack. Uh, and here I'm hoping I can just straight up chain lightning them. Webo Intention will hit him super, super hard. However, I don't have the chance to do it. So will Light Blade. Uh, Thunder? Thunder will kill him. Yeah, Thunder. Uh, Thunder's fast enough that will kill him. Uh, it's Diablo's turn next. I also have this ability. That should reduce some of his attack and magic, so I don't die. Otherwise, I would take like 2k from that. I wonder why my holy didn't go off. I wonder if it's. Uh, I wonder if I did it on a unit instead. Uh, 
uh, out of AP. GG. Well, I can always just summon Olden. Uh, and then really the uh, the killer here is going to be Sakura. Light Blade. Uh, Mont should still have, I was going to say Mont should still have threat. Oh well. So what I want to do is just move aside with Mont. Uh, realistically, I can kind of just leave him there. See if I can stun him with a Bash Blade. Nice. Now it's over. Oh, this actually did less damage than my regular holy. I'm also out of holies. So we're counting on you, Sakura. What about intention should straight up kill him? Okay, and that was uh and that is uh tower level 40 in one try. Uh Mont is actually very crucial here. Uh technically in all of the towers. You they really recommend they're really hard pushing you to have a tank. Uh having a tank really helps out in the tower. Um so yeah, that's uh that's level forty without a reset. Uh, one try level forty. Um, the plan here is uh the opening. What you want to do is put yourself in a position where the uh zombies will gather themselves up. So you want that middle spot on the first row open, because otherwise they'll the zombies will gather in a row of three, and because your casters are faster than Mont, you might not have the right caster to move and hit all three at the same time. So that's why I recommended that form that formation. Uh, second is this is a boss stage, so if you use uh, your tank and you and you stick him wedge him right there in that platform uh, to divide out the boss, you don't have to really deal with the boss, and the boss will keep hitting your tank. Uh, so realistically, uh, based on this setup, uh, what you really want to have is two calculators uh, that have level three holy ready. Uh, and just clear out all of the skeletons. And then you kind of just grind down the Lamia Queens. Uh, obviously, Rosa is pretty crucial here because of the Confuse Resist. Because if you get four units confused, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, other than that, Sakura is your main damage dealer against Zombies and Diablos, but you don't really have to have them. Uh, you're going to see how many retreats I have. 20 retreat. Wow, okay. Um... This is actually not that bad. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Uh, so talk about my quick talk about my performances. Uh, the number of KO units can be a lot lower because uh, what I do is I just throw my MRs in there for the first ten levels, and they start dying around level uh, level ten to twenty. <laughs> uh, but then I started kind of realizing, hey, I can kind of just run a full evade team and clear everything out with an evade team. Uh, but the problem with clearing everything out with an evade team is that will tank your total actions performed. So I'm this is a lot higher than what I was expecting. Also because, like, uh, it's a lot higher than what I was expecting for several reasons. Uh, the other reason is I didn't actually... Because uh, I, I know I retreated a ton, but 20 retreats is an A. That's pretty good. Uh... I know I performed way too many actions because I had an evade team that ran out of skills and they just kept running over there and hitting them with their normal attack. So that's where the total actions come from. My total KO'd units, uh, a lot of them are MRs that uh, got KO'd on my way up because I was too lazy to manual. Um, so I think, if anything, I probably can get 4 A's, but it's going to be hard to get uh, 4 S's. Uh, cause I, I, I do believe you can get S rank here, uh, if you have no, com if you didn't use any complete restores, uh, that's going to be really rough, uh, to get an S rank at the complete restore used. 
uh, because some of these I just really have to have a restore for, like, uh, cause like four or five levels really need Federica and Evelu, uh, cause the water levels, those guys are always super tanky. Uh, maybe if I have the Final Fantasy Tactics unit and that way I have another Thunder unit, um, I should, I can clear this without resetting, uh, without restoring. Um, Diablos normally is a, uh, two try boss. Uh, this time I was actually able to beat him with one try because of a lot of prior knowledge I had. But even then, this is the third time I ran, uh, this is the third time, third or fourth time I ran the tower. The second time when I did it, uh, I had to restore because most of my guys were dead. All my holy users were dead. Uh, I was really scraping the bottom of the barrel when I was doing the second time. Um, uh, my holy users were Kilfe, Ayaka, and, uh, were Kilfe, Ayaka, and Rosa. Uh, so, I mean, that's not the bottom of the barrel. The bottom of the barrel would be if you use something like Phoebe and, uh, Yishtola. <laughs> that would be, that would be the bottom of the barrel. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm nowhere near the top rank, so, uh, well, on the other hand, I'm also not really trying to, uh, rank up in tower, uh, PvE is not really my thing, uh, a lot of the early levels become kind of grindy for me. Alright, thank you guys all for watching, uh, this is, uh, floor 40 in one shot. Uh, obviously, you're not gonna have the same units that I have, but, uh, that's your... It's just to show you some, like, tips and tricks on how to deal with them. Uh, if you have Rosa, it'll help a lot. If not, at least, uh, at least that early positioning to get the, uh, to get the skeletons to line up will help you. And, uh, if I haven't already mentioned this in the Gion video, uh, wedging your guy in between to separate out Diablo would also help you. Uh, not that, I think Diablo is the main killer here. Like, he, do he does the most damage. But like he's he's also the least threatening because he doesn't have uh he doesn't heal himself he doesn't confuse you he doesn't charm you or any other bullshit so yeah there you go thank you guys all for watching.